Hey, how's it going guys? This is Mega Man 4 Part 6. We're going to be going through the last two stages of Dr. Cossack stage. Or Dr. Cocksack. Whichever you prefer. This is one of my favorite stages. Probably because of the music. It's freaking awesome. Very nostalgic feeling for sure. I'm going to be... I'm going to be showing um, some glitches this stage. Some very cool glitches. At least two I, th I think I have off the top of my head. I can remember two glitches that I'll uh, be exploiting. Alright. Now one, now that we're up the upper route, we can refill some energy. So, good chance to talk about a couple things. Well, this, first of all, this is, a, this is a very easy stage. It's the first moving stage of the game. I, I don't think Mega Man typically actually has had uh, any automatic scrolling stages like this one before this level. Anyways, we're going to show you a glitch here. It's pretty awesome. Check this out. You use the wire. And you go ahead and you rappel up. And woo! You spring right up there. And I am careening into space right now. Now by now I hit some buttons and I come back down and you can kind of tell my position by that guy. See, I did it perfectly. I, I was flying through the sky and I uh, came crashing back down. Wasn't that awesome? A very, a very useful glitch. I feel, I kind of feel like I ripped off the game, you know, but um, that part's pretty easy. You're just doing a couple jumps and you're... Uh, you're killing that um, big machine guy at the end there, so whatever, you're not missing a whole lot. The next part of the stage is really easy too, you got these moving platforms, which go up when you jump on them. Uh, definitely not a huge challenge though. Um, I think Capcom could have done a lot more with this stage. Not very challenging, but yeah. So, I don't know if anybody heard, but uh, Mega Man 10's coming out. For, I guess virtual console and PlayStation 3 and Xbox that's awesome news I love I loved Mega Man 9 I still haven't beaten it almost beat it with my friend but not yet so I gotta get I gotta get ahead here and uh, beat that damn game so that when Mega Man 10 comes out I'm in good shape uh, okay let's get this e-tank use the balloon now, if you're not careful, you can actually kill yourself. If you if you slide back too quick, that balloon will come and like cut you in half. I, I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah, you gotta watch for that. It's a really stupid glitch. Okay, and you use Pharaoh in this. Watch this glitch here. Oh, that's some odd running there, Mega Man. What the hell happened, man? So that's kind of glitch number two of the video. This guy's very easy with the Pharaoh shot. And he's dead. Oh shit, I almost fell. Boom! And you aim down, and boom, you're dead. And for my favorite glitch of the level, check this shit out. Oh, whoops! What just happened there? I'm invincible on the spike floor. Cool. You can also use a dive missile on that uh, on that boss. It works pretty well, but geez, like you can just see how Pharaoh Shot dominates his ass. So yeah, anyways, uh, Mega Man 10. I oh, just a sec here. Yeah, there's gonna be a split path in this level. Just thought I'd mention that. So yeah, Mega Man 10. Um, they only announced one boss for Mega Man 10, though. Sheep Man. I don't know if anybody heard about that. Now, I'm not as disappointed as most people are about Sheep Man. I mean. It's not that bad. I mean, come on, can you do better? Let's see you do that in a Mega Man game. I mean, I know some people have, but... I think it'll be pretty... You know, let's just trust Capcom here. Like, it's gonna be fun. There's gonna be some good bosses. I mean, really, they've, they've already done fire and ice and, you know, lightning and water so many times. They can't, you know, they gotta, they gotta do some different bosses. They can't use the same ones over and over. So, 
I guess Sheep Man's a result of it, but Sheep Man's more of like a Mega Man X uh, concept, I would have thought. Oh shit. Um, there we go. That makes it easy. Otherwise, I would have been in a dicey situation. And we use... Crap. That is not working. There we go. Drill through this barricade here. Keep drill on, because we're going to need it. We're going to need it. And another E-Tank for a total of six E-Tanks. And I think I'm getting some more soon, too. Isn't that ridiculous? We're going to have nine E-Tanks in no time. I just love my glorious use of power-ups here. It took me a while to learn which powers to use on all the guys, but it, it, it's worth it in the end. It makes the game faster. They kind of wasted the screen here. Now see those, um, see those little skull generators up there? You can actually kill those with uh, the wire if you shoot it up and it'll actually kill it. Uh, for those of you who didn't know. No real point in doing that though. I wouldn't even kill it either, because if you want power-ups out of it, you're you're kind of screwed. All right, let's toast this guy, Doctor Cossack. Look at that! I did like tons of damage on him already. You noob. Oh, you're going down. Oh, oh, close one there, buddy. Oh, my controller is sliding and I didn't want to. Oh, you're almost mine. <laughs> oh, but what happened? I had him. Come on, I want to kill him. Who's this chick? Please, Mega Man, don't. My father is not really evil. Dr. Wily took me hostage and forced my father to fight you. Please, Mega Man, don't hurt my father anymore. Oh, Kalenka. Father. Mega Man, forgive me. Dot, 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 dot. You betrayed me, Proto Man. I'm gonna break you, Mega Man. I guess Proto Man brought Kalenka to Mega Man and screwed it all up. So it was all a crazy plot. Wily was forcing Cossack to make robots to kill Mega Man. It all makes sense now. Ah, oh, you bastard, Wily. I knew it was you all along. It's always you, man. Well, let's see what his castle has in store for next video, part 7. See you next time.